Let's go for the second machine finally. Got some bronze, more bronze to hammer the plates and to make some more pipes because we need it is more pipes. What the heck? And now let's pick our remaining stuff and making this. Now we just need two furnaces. Now let's do this. One furnace, one other furnace. The brick had bronze wool and the six is more bronze pipes give me a thin alloy smelter. So we can get more bronze for my copper and tin. Not just three but now four. Now it's time to get in more things so I can start making more stuff and have more stuff to produce more stuff. And more, more, more! Okay. <laughs> but it's still gonna need a lot of time to do this, right? Oh, you finish, huh? You think you finish? Go back to work. Now it's time to build the next one. This one is very important to me. First let's get our pro our plates as before. Make some pipes. And then let's make the hole. Now I can get two piston out the pipes. And I have a compressor. This compressor will be gonna be very important to me now. I just show to show you later why. For now let's just place this, shall we? Because now all I need to do is taking 12, make 6 bronze plates and 6 tin plates and place iron, bronze and tin and I have mixed alloy ingot and that is become advanced alloy. So let us make this on the compressor, go. Now with, the, with the, our alloy made it, let's do the following. Let's go home of course, close the door, let us make some leather armor, why not? I have one, it's cute, now let us make an iron hammer, hammer it down, bang, now place the Iron, the ladder and the advanced alloy and we get the composite vest. Finally. As you see this is my shield with full hammer of leather. And now it's my hammer with just the composite armor. So nice, nice, nice. But since we are here, let's not stop at this, shall we? Let's make all the rest. So it can have a proper protection. And now I'll set. Now I have armor. Now I can go mining without worrying of dying from a single creeper like before. This is what the compressor is. But that is actually other thing that I could show you. But Let's just wait a minute. Well, well, who would guess? But uh, after searching, I did find a tin vein. So the tin vein with the tetradrine vein will allow me to go the bronze way, the best bronze age. But I don't have enough space or even pick to get all this 
I need to mark this place and come back later if someone do not beat me to do that. But damn, they are almost invisible. See, stone chain, it's almost the same. You can easily pass that. Well, some progress I see. Start to make the second field to crops. Got some plumbia, pity. And make some part of the workshop. Start to make the wall and the things and macerating the ores I get so I can start in working on more machines. Yeah, maybe at some point get my steel production going so I can start to do more things and my thing is very far <laughs> well well some day has passed and I did not play yesterday so well, a blank day and Nothing much has changed really. I start to make something on the workshop. Place this iron tank so I can get to all my steam storage for when I start to use this. Or the alloy is melted for get more runs. Aside that, uh, nothing much here. The big thing I was working this time was the crops of course cross crop is main thing is we need like aurelia or ferrous or copper plumbia some then some there are what another water that I get something stick reeds castillas and I start working where I'm gonna make my head field down here. Let's go down, down. And this is where I'm gonna make my head wheat crop farm. As you can see, I make a big place. Still don't know if I'm gonna make four fields of headstone or just one. I still need to see that, but as always my luck has proven me to be my worst enemy. I was digging here to make space and then looking at at this place there is water, oh, water, where is water come from and I have a cave below my home, as always. Isn't that great? So I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna explore this cave to lit up and avoid monsters spawning on it. That's why I was hitting some endermen some some time ago. And just to make this video dated, just yesterday was announced that Microsoft bought Mojang. So we don't. So now. Our Minecraft belongs to Microsoft. What do you think? Think it's good? Bad? I really don't care. <laughs> well, people, I will not lie to you and I'm gonna speak straight. One of my friends has gone on vacation and he started playing an uh, older, older version of Minecraft 1.6 and he's going to try and play with Crack Tech. So I will play with him. This means I won't have time to play on Kirara and continue to make the Awakening Nightmare. So for now, Awakening Nightmare is on uh, Iatus. I don't know when and if I'm gonna return, so ask for your forgiveness, but that is more fun. <laughs> 